to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to update our analysis of Forex market. And uh, today's video analysis would include actually Euro, British Pound, Canadian Dollar, Japanese Yen, New Zealand Dollar, and US Dollar itself against um, the basket of the currencies. So let's start. Uh, first of all, we have seen an impressive bearish uh, price movement. So the point here is what is expected after this. We can clearly see that we have labeled this as an A, B and C structure. This structure, impulsive structure downward where fifth wave is extended wave is very clear, is very, very clear in a lot of uh, these markets and we are going to look at it. I'm labeling this whole price move, uh, movement as wave 1 and 2. 2 is very deep but still has not gone beyond the starting point of wave 1. So I'm easily considering it as wave 1 and 2. Wave 3 is here, right over here and wave 4 here is here. Uh, we can clearly see the wave 4 has given us. And after the wave 4 is confirmed, we can clearly see the smaller wave 1 and 2 and 3 right over here somewhere. Uh, actually 3 over here and 4 and 5. So this is fifth wave. Finally, uh, you can see that it's clearly subdivisible. We can also see that we are approaching the double bottom on a daily time frame. Let's have a look on a daily time frame and that's double bottom is very important. It's basically is in indicating that the price movement from the top down is approaching a resistance right over here. So we can see that we are approaching a resistance here as well. Let me move this upward so you guys can actually see it. Here we go. So we can see that we are approaching the resistance here right now. We have completed wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Given that the count, I'm going to say that we are uh, expecting for the uh, correction. But that correction, uh, we shall have some uh, precursor to that correction. We can do that. It's most likely that we are going to see that correction. But we need to see a bullish day right over here. So we need to see a bullish day at this point right now. Earlier wave analysis is indicating that we have completed the 5 wave structure downward. So let's have a look once again and see what is expected on a give me a moment. Let me what's expected on an hourly time frame. Okay. So after we get the confirmation, for example, as a as a daily reversal, as a mm, we see a daily bullish reversal right over here, that will be indication that we are bullish on the chart, and I think that shall at least push the prices back in the wave four of the previous 5 wave structure which is right over here so this is our wave 4 and I'm expecting that that shall actually push the prices right over here this shall take few days uh, I think let's say and if the price movement is really sharp it might take 2 or 3 days but I think it's gonna take about 4 to 6 days to complete so we expected to for a good uh, pull up in uh, British pound and give us an indication this is actually Joro forgive me I keep on mixing the chart most of them are look 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 alike so I have to look at the, at the top so I'm expecting a pullback in euro uh, but for a confirmation signal we need a daily reversal candlestick on the bottom right over here we are approaching a, a resistance point on a daily time frame over here and that resistance point is important right over here before we can actually further go down I think we are expected to say a pullback British pound is also giving us a similar very very clear structure that we have we have wave 1 and 2 right over here wave 3 I'm considering this as wave 3 and then a B and C where wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we can clearly see an ABC structure forming an expanded flat and wave 5 is clearly subdivisible wave 1 and 2 right over here a flat correction and then we have wave 3 deeper right over here wave 4 and then wave 5 so we're very very close to the completion one thing that I have forgot to uh, indicate is the trend line we can definitely combine the com uh, wave 4 uh, and 2 trend line but in this case we can see that this is far away so what we can do is right now we can mm -hmm. combine the trend line of wave 4 and 5 within the wave 5 so since wave 5 is sub subdivid uh, subdivisible so we can clearly uh, use the trend line of that as also a reversal tool as well so this is also a good tool we don't if you don't want to wait for the uh, daily reversal pattern then this is also a good indication that we are approaching the resistance point right over here and we are expecting the correction the correction shall actually take the prices back in this range right over here within I'm expecting two to six days maybe if the price action is really sharp we can expect the prices to reach in two to three days but I'm expecting that this structure is going to be complicated uh, and uh, I, I mean a messy maybe the first leg is uh, easier light right over here and after that 
uh, we'll get some messy price action. I'm trying to find an example so I can give you guys and you guys can actually uh, see what is probably expected. So something like this is possible that maybe the first leg is really sharp and clear and then we'll have a correction and a follow three right over here. So something like that is possible uh, in British Pound right over here. And we can see from over here, this is British Pound once again, we can see that we are approaching an historical uh, resistance point here as well. So this is also important. I'm considering that C was a truncated wave right over here right now. So I'm considering this as, or you can consider it as a WXY because it more C most likely kind of looks like a, a zigzag. So we can consider this as a zigzag X and another zigzag. So W, X and Y would be more sensing, sensible to say. Uh, we have clearly five wave structure downward. Fifth wave is divisible and we are approaching the resistance point right over here so I'm gonna turn bullish uh, but I'll wait for confirmation and two confirmations that we have a diagonal line right over here or the daily reversal candlestick let's see and we are seeing some similar behavior in Canadian dollar as well here uh, the price structure is very very clear uh, right now here we are approaching one of the resistance point right over here kind of we have kind of right now uh, this point resistance point and the other resistance point is right over here. So we are approaching the resistance point in Canadian dollar as well. We can clearly label it as the 5 wave structure right over here, wave 1 and 2. We have sharper wave 3 and wave 4 and wave 5 is clearly subdivisible. You guys can clearly see a smaller wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and a 5 wave. We can definitely use a trend line to get a confirmation of the uh, reversal or the correction as soon as prices drop below this trend line that will be an indication that we are expected to see prices drop down that that word so that will be quite interesting in Canadian dollar this pattern is uh, the impulse structure is quite sharply uh, clearly visible in on almost four five six markets that we are looking at right now here is the Japanese gen Japanese gen is a little complicated uh, and right now a couple of things are possible first of all we have clear wave one structure impulsive structure and a correction couple of possibilities that part of the correction is complete here this is also correction and then you're going to see prices downward other possibility is if this is the case then prices should actually come along that way and find a support right over here that would make it then a wave a a b and a c other possibility is that we have completed wave one and a two right over here this in this case we can bring two right over here and then we can consider this is another impulsive wave and a corrective wave is expected in that case if that correction is expected there is a possibility that we might see a deeper correction somewhere in this range probably and that correction is expected to be somewhat complex so maybe a clear lag a correction and the second lag both possibilities exist so wave one and two or wave one and a b and c and if that either this is an impulsive or either this is corrective but I'm expecting that we shall actually right now see a pullback right now and we can see that I mean, why I, the reason I'm expecting a pullback and deeper pullback is that we have seen uh, quite a deeper correction right over here. So, all right, this price movement is quite deeper as compared to the other forex markets that we are looking at right now. So that's why I'm concerned that when prices comes down back here, we are going to see quite a bit of deep correction right over here. Once again, we can definitely use a trend line right over here, or we can wait for a, a daily reversal candlestick chart uh, pattern to give us an indication that we are turning downwards. New Zealand dollar is showing a um, very clear pattern It's in front of you guys here is one of the most clear charts that we have right now within the uh, forex market we can clearly label it as wave 1 and 2 right over here we have sharply wave 3 right over here and wave 4 and then we can clearly see wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 so wave 5 is subdivisible clearly right over here if you guys want to make sure 3 is right over here so wave 5 is clearly subdivisible once again if you want to make sure that you are uh, we we need to see uh, some sort of an indication that we are actually right in our analysis. Uh, as far as uh, the this particular tr chart is concerned, we can see that the trend line is kind of covering most of the daily price section right over here. This is the one day uh, trend line that's covering the whole impulsive uh, move to the downside, and the other trend line is covering only the fifth wave right over here. So uh, your choice, you want to wait for the daily reversal pattern. You want to see the daily reverse. Uh, the break of one of the trend lines this one or this one is up to you but I'm expecting that we shall be actually seeing a reversal that shall actually take the prices somewhere in this region right over here 
again two to six days are expected within the con for the correction pattern to complete uh, this is massive amount of move that we have seen uh, in forex market against US dollar I mean US dollar has gone stronger against these currencies and these currencies have turned weaker so massive weakness in these currencies a pullback is due right now let's see when that actually happens US dollar itself is showing an impulsive behavior on the upside right here once again uh, wave 2 I'm labeling this as wave 2 and wave 2 has not gone beyond the starting point of wave 1 so I'm clearly considering it as wave 1 and 2 we have sharper wave 3 and wave 4 and then we have wave 5 so right now wave 5 we cannot see much of a division within wave 5 right over here we can definitely use trend line you want to wait for the uh, another thing you want to wait for the trend line to be broken we can definitely use that right over here it's a pretty good idea or we can actually go on a 15 minute chart and see what trend line actually encompasses that in that case I think we can actually use this run and right over here this one to be really careful we need to have a daily reversal pa uh, candlestick before we can actually get a confirmation that we are heading downward once we see a confirmation we are expected to see a price pullback right around this region right over here we do need to understand that price is, is approaching historical top right over here and we are approaching the resistance so pullback is due let's see how long it lasts and uh, gold is uh, let me have a look in gold we are gold I think is gonna right now moving along with the Japanese Gen uh, stocks crypto oil this is what let's have a look at gold all right here it is and I'm expecting a deeper price movement uh, for gold right now too. We already have seen some kind of reversal uh, but we have seen this sharper deeper reversal 1, 2 and 3, 4 and 5th wave is way the way uh, you can say we can we can definitely call it like that the whole impulse wave or whatever you want to call it right now I think this has fallen quite a bit right now within the angles we are approaching the resistance angle as well so I think the pullback is due and that shall actually follow Japanese Gen so uh, let's see what happens we do not have a clear 5 wave structure within the uh, gold price that we have so let's see how it happens and, and does it actually follow the euro, follow euro or not euro is expected to gain strength and I'm expecting that gold is expected to give us a chance to go short too as well right now I'm out of the gold market I'm out of the euro and uh, British pound market too I'm gonna wait for the pullback but I wanted to post to this analysis once again I think it will be a better idea to wait for a daily reversal candlestick before we can actually say with higher confidence that we shall uh, we are actually pulling backward right now wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye